Uh, uh. Abby, Abby, look at him. He's just sitting there, menacingly. He's making me wait because he knows he's. Don't tackle him. He knows I'm anxious. He knows this is important. He knows this is expensive. There you go. George, what if there was a glitch in the software and you couldn't? He couldn't give it to you. I would cry. I need a table to unbox this with. You want to go on a life journey? Sure you do. Here we go. Goodbye, Mr. UPS man. Goodbye. I only took you an hour and a half, but you got here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Open. You foul beast. Who took the tables? Oh god, you could say the tables have turned. Move! He's dead. Abby! Are you gonna help me find the t They're right there! Ignore all this. This is my dad's temporary setup. I'm moving his office. No! You monster! I got the box, Not guys! You. I got the <laughs> Clap your hands and then there's a table. Uh, just... Magic! It's, there's a table now! I didn't say what time it was, I'm gonna kill you. Just kidding, it's just a bunch of paper! You guys have been clip I clickbaited! I paid. $900 for paper. Yay! Look at all this stuff. Look, it's this kink mask. That's exactly what this is. Welcome to my Pro Leap 2018 unboxing of overpriced, just kidding, it's beautiful, things to shoot my friends with. <laughs> Do we have a sponsor? But, uh, the sponsor is uh, my job. They paid me, and then I used all my money to buy this. Disclaimer. Airsoft guns. I just got hit in the face with God knows what. These are not toys. They look like toys. You play with them as toys, but they are very, very dangerous. Uh, don't go and shoot these in your backyard. Your neighbors will call the police, and the police will show up, and then they'll be like, hey, can we play? And you'll get shot with real guns, and then you lose. Go check with your local airsoft fields. Play there. Basically, I've got a whole lot of people wanting to do an airsoft match, and I think that's awesome. Typically, you, if you can rent your first airsoft gun at the airsoft field, you should do that first. I'm just stupid and irresponsible with money. And I paid for all this, and now I'm in crippling debt. So let's actually start getting into this. I don't know. Well, first things first, you can obviously tell what this is. This, this is just the face mask. Yeah, Matrix Tactical Systems. It did get bent up a little bit, but it is all wire frames. So I mean, I kind of understand. And you can bend it back, that's not- You need to put thing. everything on as you go. See, the cool thing about this is that it's got ear protection. You typically don't need ear protection, but it's probably better you, you to already have it. You don't want to get shot in the ear. George, you don't need ear protection. You have hair. Yeah, there we go. Going back to the warning labels and all that, only play with eye protection. Make sure that they're properly rated and whatnot, and don't injure yourself. I don't think you're doing it right. stuck. I don't think you're doing it right. What do you... Give me your glasses. You're gonna Got break. Oh, I think that does that. And then this one, sure, that'll go there. Can I have my glasses back now? I can put them on again. Oh God, they can't go on my ears now. Well, that's that. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, I believe these were, I don't remember what brand these are. I'll put all the stuff in the description. Oh, look at that. They come in like a nice drawstring bag and all this too. And I got cool like smoked ones. I can see again. Okay, it's gonna get really hot in there real quick. So I got eye protection. Make sure you have good eye protection. You typically want anti-fog stuff, especially if you're someone like me, you wear glasses and you don't like contacts. You do not wanna have foggy eye, eye protection. Wow, it does fit. Wow, that's surprising. Okay, I'm gonna keep those on because I look cool. Can you see my eyeballs through here? 
Oh god, you're getting no. real close. Wow. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, back up. Oh, I know what these are. Jesus! <laughs> this is the tiniest Allen key I've ever seen in my life. What are these? Um, I got a, I got a, a sight. These are sight protectors. You don't want to get a sight shot out. So how much are protectors? This probably, I don't remember exactly, but I know it wasn't any more than like 20 bucks. Okay, and how much is a sight? Well, it depends on what sight you get. I think this one I got, I think this one was 45 off the top of my head. Depending on what field you go to, you'll need a muzzle cover sometimes. This this one was from evike.com or evic, however you say it. I got all this from evic. Uh, this one, it's literally two bucks. It's just a red a red cover. I want to open it now. It says, it says remove before pew. I know the area that I'm going to go to and me and all my friends, they require ways. Shut up. Oh, we have, to, we have to start over again. Don't call my house. So that's, this is all this is, is it's just a muzzle cover. Um, so you put the end of the muzzle in here. Oh my God. I don't know if that's going to fit on my gun. It's getting real hot in here and I'm not even running yet. What's next? We'll go with this, this big old thing. That is hefty. This is 5,000 biodegradable rounds. These are 0 0.2, just six millimeter BBs. It's good to have a container like this. So say, depending on how much, how fast you go through all of these, you can just buy a big bag of them now and instead of having like 12 bags lying around, you just dump them in here. I got two 14, 50 milliamp, 11.1 .1 volt matrix batteries, uh, uh, two batteries. Because the gun I got is very, very restrictive. Um, and you should always get a big lipo safe bag for both charging and transporting these. You don't want to just leave these out. How would you recommend looking for your batteries? Okay, well, there's multiple things to keep, uh, take into consideration. Um, one is type of connector. I believe this is called a Tamea connector. And there's also one called a Dean connector, which is red and it has one pin this way, one pin that way. Not sure of the difference. Look for capacity and voltage. Make sure that they're both rated. Make sure that it can fit into your gun. The gun I picked up is very, very restrictive on battery size. So I can't have a big brick battery like you could stuff into an AK or an M4 stock. How much research did you do before you bought all this? I did a lot of research, mostly on the gun. Not a lot on, on the other stuff itself. I think I did research on the, the mask and mostly the gun. Um, everything else is just plug and chug. I also did research, this brings us nicely into this. I did research on this. It's a mock suppressor. There's the colored rings that come with it. It's supposed to come with colored rings. Did they scam me of my rings? I swear, if I didn't get pretty pretty colorful rings. Moment of this, silence for this our 20, fake suppressor. $20, $20 that George was, just spent on this. I think it was like 40. Shh, I was making you look better, George. Oh, good, thank you, yes. I spent- For the $40 that George spent on a mock suppressor that doesn't actually suppress. Yeah. I believe this is the battery charger. I'm not gonna pull this out. And these big things, these are these are heavy. Oh my goodness. Okay, well before I get to those, I'll get to this. This is this is a speed loader because you don't want to be the one person who's plugging in BBs one at a time into their gun. So you get something like this. This is just a big old speed loader. And this, oh, that feels that feels quality. I think that's polymer. And if you couldn't tell what this is by now, here I'll give I'll let you have a I'll let you have a hint. You can take a look at that. You could probably guess by now. So I have multiple reasons for doing that over something like an M4 or an AK or something. This is a big old carry case for this. This bag is by uh, Lalax. Oh, look at this. It's all Japanese. But I'll, I'll show you all that once. Here, actually, you know what? Yeah, you can, you can look at this, not that. There you go, it's all fake. Fake language. Just kidding. That's that's racist. And maybe I'll find my color rings. Nope, they're gone forever. Oh well. I spent way too much money on this. But I don't care. Because I'm excited. Brittany, you excited? How much did you spend on this? This is four fifty. And the reason for that is because it's a licensed product. And there's some history behind that, but I'm not gonna explain it right now. I'm gonna open this up. For those of you that know, Crytek I hear is a very nice brand. This is really the only gun by them that I've looked into. Are you ready for this? Oh, oh, I love it already. So you can tell by now, tell what I got. This is the Crytek Chris Vector. 
Oh. <laughs> it makes me happy. I've been waiting like a week for this. Um. <laughs> I'll go over some of the features. First, let me pull this thing out. This is just an unjamming rod. Um, the gun itself comes with, or the package itself comes with uh, the instruction manual. This will basically tell you everything you need to know, anything you've got to, if you want to exchange a spring or something like that. Um, you get the gun itself, one uh, extra magazine. That's why I ordered two, because these are not very big magazines. These are 95 round mid cap magazines. And then other than the gun, what, what else it comes with is this, uh, this Picatinny rail. Um, it's a Picatinny rail segment. And basically you can mount that here. Isn't that a uh, groundhog? What a, you mean, what's his name? Puxatani? Puxatani Phil? <laughs> I don't remember. Groundhog Whoa, George, you got, a, you got a groundhog. I, look, I bought a ground, who, who put this groundhog in my gun? I don't know all the sites that sell this. Um, typically it comes with a, it shows it as a black tip. It has, it has to sell with a, they have to sell it with a federally made, uh, oh wait, there's two more things here. Oh, I know what these are. I should get to these first. These are the flip up Defiance iron sights. You get a, Defiance. you get a rear and a front iron sight. Um, this one can flip between two apertures. I just broke it, just kidding. Okay, so getting back, it, they have to sell this with a, orange tip, federally mandated orange tip. Um, when on the website, it shows it as black. Uh, you really shouldn't carry your airsoft guns out in open public, especially if you're taking it to a range um, or a field. You should always keep them in something something like this. You should take it whether you keep it in a gun case or a specially made bag like this. Um, the place I'm going to basically said, as long as it's out of sight, it's good to go. This is This is the first touch other than Oh, oh my God. Drops it. I feel beautiful. Uh, some features about this gun. It's a, uh, it's completely licensed by Chris or Crytek. I don't remember what it means. Who's Chris? The manufacturer of the gun, Chris, our coworker, Chris, he made this gun. Just kidding. Um, Are you cheating on me? Yes, I'm cheating on you, Braden. And like, I've never held a Vector before. I've seen one once in my life in a glass display case. And as far as I know, this is like an identical replica. You got your safety and your fire switch right there. And not only does it uh, put it into safety, so you can hear the click right there. That means that it's in fire. That one you can't pull at all, so that's safety. Not only does it do that, but it also disconnects the battery from the from the uh, mechanism itself. So the battery is not being really used at all. Same thing with the spring. Um, you also have single burst and full auto modes. Pew, 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 and pew, 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 pew. Triple pew, that's exactly what it is. This is the bolt release that doesn't really do anything because uh, it's, it's just for show. This is the uh, mag release. And I don't believe that's ambidextrous. No, it's only on this side. So sorry, lefty users, you gotta, Gotta like reach around, hit it there. The charging handle doesn't really do anything other than Charge. other than this. You can flip that up. That's where your hop up adjustment is. It's in there. So you can either flip it up like that if you don't want to deal with the charging handle, or you can be all tactical, flip up, flip it up that way. What else? Oh, it's got a collapsible folding stock. Oh, there. And even right there, it says this, it, I believe this is, this is not a toy. Yeah, it literally says that. This is not a toy. You should take extreme precaution with airsoft guns when handling them. Never, never expose them in public. There's no excuse for that. So basically, you can clip it back so you have it in full SMG mode. Um, another thing to mention about the stock is that I believe with, if you unscrew these two keys right here, you can adjust the butt stock out a little bit, <laughs> not too much. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, there's also a one point sling mount here on the bottom. So if you've, you can have it hanging while you're using your sidearm or something like that. Um, or if you don't have a sidearm. Do you have a sidearm? I don't have a sidearm. You need to purchase a sidearm. Braden, do you know how much money I spent on this? Too Wait. much. Eight, um, what's, eight, what's another $800? I don't think you're gonna spend $800 on a pistol, Braden. Gas um, blowback. No, right. <laughs> um, it does come, 
uh, collapse. So this is one for easy storage. That's how I put it in that bag. And two, you can use it for really close quarters if you need. Um, you I basically don't... just have a glorified pistol at that point. You've got a underside Picatinny rail, so if you wanted to put a vertical grip or an angle grip or something, then you can. Um, I decided to opt out and save a little bit of money by just kind of using this as the vertical grip right here. And then you just kind of... Smack yourself like, in the face with the butt. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's not that bad, honestly. I f like it's it's almost completely vertical so maybe you like having a vertical grip right here it gives you a little bit more stability depending on what kind of play style you have um, this could definitely be very beneficial for you if you're in a CQB environment uh, that's a close quarters battle so if you're doing an indoor arena where all the walls are made of plywood someone could be around a corner at any time this may benefit you otherwise I think that's pretty much going to do it for now I don't really have anything else to say. Commence the dub sub Oh music. my god! It's just a, it's like a little kid's. I saw what you were doing there. You trying to touch my gun. It's like a little kid opening his first airsoft gun. It's like, okay, this is my first airsoft gun. You can see it's, it's nice and, uh, it's all black anodized, uh, polymer and steel. Uh, it's officially licensed. Uh, it's got this thing, and uh, you pull that back, and it opens the thing on the other side, and you can give a little bit of spin, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. He vibrated. Oh, you're playing with my dog. Is he bullying? <laughs> I didn't bring the gun. I'm unarmed. No. Alright. Bye.